Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, Mezco just announced the 112 Collective pre-orders for the Ninja Turtles figures. Uh, it's a four pack, it's $400. It's supposed to come out at the end of the year and it looks awesome, but let's talk about it. All right guys, so, um, I've been staring at these figures all morning or since the email went out or since they they announced these uh, we, we got a preview of some shots of these a while ago I forgot when I think it was uh, a con or one of Mezco's online events um, but we've gotten glimpses of these figures before um, today they put up the pre-order and they put up a bunch more uh, figures and uh, they, they tell us what the four pack comes with and it's a lot of stuff it's a lot of accessories a lot of weapons alternate heads alternate hands mezco stand soft goods um, and it, it looks great um, each turtle has a unique sculpt uh, and they all look awesome they're very stylized mezco it looks like a more stylized realistic super 7 ultimates figures where they carry a lot of the retro look um update it put it through the mezco filter added elements from the nicktoon turtles added some style designs from that uh the 2002 animated series like there's like you look at it long enough and then there's elements from different incarnations of the turtles that you're like oh they did this they did that uh, which I think is cool. I like how each one of the turtles has a unique sculpt. I like how they have different accessories, not just accessory sets, but like the utility belts are different or the har like the straps and harnesses and whatnot or their holsters for where they carry their, their accessories and weapons uh, is unique to each turtle. Uh, like Leo has his cross sheaths things that he could put his swords behind his back Raph has his holsters for his size um, I don't see the setup for how Mikey put, puts his chucks away or the the, the 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 holster for Donnie's bow staff um, but overall these look great um, I like the individual feel of each one uh, minor nitpick, minor, minor nitpick, I think. Uh, I love, like I said, I love the unique body sculpts uh, for each turtle. It's not like the same turtle just swapped out heads and different uh, kind of weapon holsters for each turtle, but it's truly a different body sculpt. My thing is, it's weird for me to see that Raph appears to be the shortest turtle. Um... In, in some incarnations, like he's been the big guy, like the big angry turtle, uh, especially in Rise of the Ninja Turtles, which I wasn't a fan of, but I did like the fact that Raph was the biggest turtle there. Uh, here he appears to be smaller. He's bulkier than Mikey, but shorter. So I don't know how I feel about that. It, it gives off like angry little man vibes for Raph, you know, where he's like that little short tempered short dude who uh, just really wants to prove himself and people call him tiny, but he's a badass. So you don't call him tiny to his face unless you want him to fuck shit up. Um, but overall, I, l I love the look of these. Uh, I love the, the alternate heads. The alternate heads to me, um, just looking at these, they all have so much personality specific to each turtle. Like I think that's what I like about this set so far is just how it, each figure even if it's a four pack even if it's you know it could be very easy to have recycled body mold recycled head sculpts and have just eat them all swappable and interchangeable each personal like their personality shines through on each figure especially for each head portrait or head sculpt uh, for each character so many hands different bandana options whether you're a long bandana short bandana person um, the different looks for the weapons, for Mikey's spinning chucks. So yeah, a lot of stuff going on, a lot of things going on in these pictures that they provided. So I just wanted to hop on here um, and 
you know, talk about what we're getting. And for people kind of flinching at the $400 price tag, I get it. Uh, but there's a lot in here. And I mean, each Mezco figure now, I think the Crow dropped and I was like 90 to 100 bucks. There was a lot of stuff in there. So I think the average price for Mezco figures now is a hundred bucks, like 90 to hundred bucks. This is a four pack, that kind of evens out. So, I mean, the prices for Mezco, for, by Mezco standards isn't too bad. It's all about preference, I think, because like I said, stylistically, uh, visually, they are very similar. They're very close to Super 7. But Super 7 Ultimates figures you can obtain for about 30 to 40 bucks now. Um, some of the prices for those dropped. Uh, so it's a matter of what lines you collect, detail, look. Do you need all of these accessories? Uh, we don't know the posability and the articulation of these. Uh, so that's going to be interesting. Um, but I don't know. For me, I'm, I'm in for 400 bucks. Uh, it's supposed to come out December or end of the year. This year, 2023, we'll see if that's true. Uh, this might be the, the comeback year for Mezco. Maybe they finally give us our Mezco Keaton Batman. They give us this. We'll see. Um, but, I mean, they're, they're going to get my, my what, what is it, the down payment of 40 bucks for the pre-order for this. Because um, whether you pre-order at Big Bad Toy Store or Mezco directly, you have to put a down payment of, I think, 40 bucks for both sites. Um, so someone's getting my $40, because uh, this looks excellent. I love turtles, and this could be my main turtle figures. Um, I would love, like, these would look dope with my Super 7 party wagon. But again, for people who say, who see the price tag, are just like, this is 400 bucks. I already have the ultimates. I don't think I need this. I get it. But these look awesome you know so we'll see um i love mezco for the figures that they do produce um and it's interesting because the one issue i have with mezco sometimes is the limitations uh, ex uh articulation wise because of the soft goods overlay or the soft goods suit that they're wearing this doesn't have that um people were raving and loving the Predator 112 Collective figure. And it's on a similar setup where it's not restricted by fabric or soft goods. So it'll, it's, we'll see. I'm very excited for this. I was very excited about this when they hinted at it, but there hasn't been much movement. And now that the pre-order is up, it seems that much more real. Uh, so I'm very excited, um, but yeah. Those are just some quick thoughts. I know I kind of rambled and went all over the place for this video, but I'm in. Are you? I'm forty dollar down payment. I'll pay the rest of the three hundred sixty bucks plus, ta plus tax and shipping when whenever this does uh, ship. End of the year, according to Mezco. Probably beginning of the year. More realistically, I'm thinking if not mid next year. Uh, but what about you guys? Are you are you guys getting the Mezco turtles because these look good? Do you already have other versions of the turtles that you prefer that didn't cost you 400 bucks? Uh, let me know in the comments which is your favorite line of turtles. Super 7, NECA, NECA 2, NECA Movie, Ultimates, um, SHF when those were go when those were running. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below, guys. And also, seeing this really makes me want Mezco to do Casey Jones and Shredder. Uh, I think that would be great. Oh shit, maybe they could do another four pack where it's like Casey Jones, April O'Neil, Shredder, and a Foot Soldier. Oh fuck. Well, maybe do the Foot Soldier by himself so I can buy him as an army builder or have an army builder pack. I don't know, holy shit. So many possibilities, but I hope uh, this line continues beyond the turtles. We get more. Okay, four pack. Shredder, Splinter, April O'Neil, and Casey Jones. Splinter, Shredder, Casey Jones, April O'Neil. Another four pack. And then after that, we have a single release of a Foot Soldier. Maybe a four pack of the Foot Soldier. I don't know. But just get those figures released as well. 
I should just do a, uh, I should just do a wish list video. So I'm gonna finish this video. I'll start working on more wish list videos. Uh, but thank you for watching this video. Thank you for taking the time. Let me know what you think of the video of the figures. Um, are you guys in? Let me know in the comments. But until the next video, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the toy aisle later.